Oh, welcome guys, welcome guys. Okay, so it's very happy uh to see you guys here. So the bad, the the happy things I want to that I like to do is that uh, I like to write some mathematical proof and uh, put it on YouTube video. Okay, I mean this is just some my memory, but uh, I I always uh, thanks for you guys if you watching this video and uh, yeah. So uh the 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 topic for this video is that we want to prove the binomial and the multinomial expansion. So. Uh, let's assume that you go, go back to where it's like senior high school and you forget about calculus, forget about time expansion, right? and you forget about that uh, calculus technique. And uh, remember, <coughs> and uh, assume that you go back to high school and uh, you want to prove this 1 plus x to the power n will be n choose k x to the k and k from sum from 0 to n. And n is so called, n is just a positive integer. Okay, so remember that n choose k is n factorial divided by k factorial times n minus k factorial. Okay, so uh, the proof is that uh, we want to do the induction uh, on n. So uh, if n is 1, which is trivial, 1 plus x is 1 choose 0, x 0. So 1 choose 0 is 1. Okay, 1 choose 1 is 1. So x 0 plus x 1 is 1 plus x. Okay, so let's assume that n is correct. Uh, yeah, this is just short notation. Let's assume that for n is correct, and then we want to check that what y is n plus 1. Why is n plus 1? Okay, so this is the main part. And we will see the multinomial expansion is the same as the binomial expansion if you uh, see carefully. <laughs> okay, so 1 plus x to n plus 1 is basically, uh, you, you because you already assume n is correct, so you put this in, and then times 1 plus x, and you expand it. And so you get the n choose k x k, n choose k x to k plus 1, k from 0 to n. Okay, so uh, the, the, the trick is that uh, you see, if you, if you want to uh, combine is xk and X, xk plus 1, right? So the natural thing is that you change this xk plus 1 to xk and the k to k minus 1. Right, so you, you should get this uh, xk, n choose k, n choose k minus 1. Uh, you should get this turn. Right, but remember, if you want to connect, this, connect these two terms, there will be two terms which you cannot con combine. The first term is k equals 0, right? Because the constant term, there's the constant only survive at the right-hand side, but no, no left-hand side. So I need to pull out a constant term, which is n choose 0, x 0. And I also put need to put a highest x n plus 1 power term because there is no uh, such term in the left hand side. Sorry, in the left, uh, this expression. Uh, yeah, so remember to my uh, cursor. Oh, my cursor is important. So n 0, n choose 0, x 0, and n choose n, uh, x n plus 1, and then this, right? So I can separate into three terms. Okay, so uh, the lemma is that uh, n choose k, is n choose k minus 1 is basically n factorial, k factorial minus 1, n minus k factorial, and you see this is this. And then you can combine it into k factorial, n minus k factorial plus 1. So you see, uh, if you choose the, if you change the denominator to this, then you will need to times n minus k plus 1. And then for this term, since you ch this term is fixed, and you change it to k factorial, so there is k. So you add these two, you get the n plus 1, right? So the numerator is n plus 1 factorial, and the denominator is k factorial minus, uh, times n minus k plus 1. Okay, so it's n plus 1 choose k. So this term is n plus 1 choose k, x to k, k from 1 to n, and the least 2, right? And the least 2 is 1, right? n choose 0 is 1, n choose 1 is 1. And uh, the trick is that n choose 0 is the same as n plus 1 choose 0. And also the same as n plus 1 choose n plus 1, which is 0. Uh, which is one okay so combine uh so i can change this n zero n choose zero to be n plus one choose zero and the n choose n can be interpreted as n plus one choose n plus one so now uh i can combine these all three of these terms and get the k from zero to n plus one n plus one choose k x through k okay and uh once i can let that uh, we prove right because see this so this is the proof by induction okay so the key lemma is this okay Okay, uh, so this is called a uh, binomial uh, expansion uh, theorem. Okay, so let's quickly see uh, what it arrives. Okay, so if you, since we already know this, right? So we already know that it is n choose k x to k k from zero to n. So you can, uh, if I ch choose change x to let's say x two divided by x one to the power n, and definitely x one cannot be zero, then I get this. Okay, now if I times the x1 to the power n to right left hand side, then I will get uh, x1 plus 2 x2 x1 plus 2 uh, plus x2 to the power n will be, uh, let's say, n choose k, k from 0 to n. Okay, so this is the famous uh, 
Uh, this is the uh, also a famous resource <laughs> that people like to use. Okay, so now uh, we go back to the we go to the new topic. That uh, now new topic basically the same topic called the monomo uh, multinomial uh, expansion. So uh, let's quickly. So mono mono expansion means that x let's say x one up to like maybe x. Uh, let's say I use that maybe x m to power k, uh, to power n. It becomes the famous n choose, uh, and you need to assign each variable uh, one positive, uh, one integer, non-negative integer, k1, k2, up to km, right? And so basically, n choose k1 from the first, and k2, km, and uh, x1 to the k1, x2 to the k2, up to xm to the km. And the subtract that uh, k1, k2, are uh, all these are non-zero, and the sum of them must be, uh, let's say, n. Okay, so this is the called the uh, monomial expansion. So you can see that if 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 uh, it, uh let's say uh, this is def the definition for this is n factorial divided by k1 factorial k2 factorial up to kn factorial. Okay, so it's obviously that uh, if m equals to two, then uh, you get k1 factorial k2 factorial, but now uh, subject to k1 plus uh, k2, which is n, so you get uh, n minus k1 factorial. So if n is so if n equals to two. And basically, this is binomial expansion. Okay, so uh, the next, the rest of this video, the rest of this video is just prove this uh, multinomial, ex uh, multinomial expansion, right? What else we can do, right? <laughs> okay, uh, so the proof technique is, is, is the same. Okay, so let's uh, let's see uh, how to prove. It. Okay, so proof. Okay, so this proof is somehow uh, a little bit tricky. So, uh, yeah. So let's say the same thing, right? I I, I should go go to induction on n. Okay, so n equals zero, right? If uh, n equals to one, you get one, right? One, one choose everything is still one. Okay, so then uh, you only get you then you get and uh, n choose one. So so now you get like one one zero 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 is zero and x one zero x one one x two zero, right? So this is x one. And there's the same reason you get x2, x3 up to xm. So n equals to 1 is somehow trivial. Uh, you just put the definition in. Okay. And uh, I uh, do a shortcut. I just say that I assume n is correct. And let's see uh, n plus 1. Okay. Uh, so so this is you see this is the exactly the same as the bottom, uh, uh, uh binomial expansion proof. That you just put all of you just n plus one, so this is n, right? You put so final, then you will get what? Then you use since your n is correct, right? So you get a, a very large sum, that uh, some condition that uh, and the uh, k one up to k m and the uh, x one k one plus one, x two up to x m k m k two, and the uh, plus the condition, the the the, the same and the uh, x one x2, k2 plus 1, k1 of xm, km. And then you get the same thing. Da, 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 da. Final, the final term is the same. And then x1, k1, x2, k2, xm, km plus 1. And the reason is that uh, I, I, uh, to get this, I just write it as x1 plus xm, n times x1 plus x2 of xm. Right, so since you just use this in terms of multinomial expansion and then use, uh, you just expand it. Okay, so finally, the final proof is that we have to show this guy. This guy actually uh, go back to this guy. So this guy actually go back to this guy, but with n going to n plus 1. And all the conditions are subject to k1 plus k m up become m, n plus 1. Okay, so this is the trick. Uh, this is the goal, uh, which is uh, uh, not very easy if you <laughs> see it first time. Okay, so uh, but uh, let's prove. So, so the proof uh, idea is that uh, uh, I can ask uh, ask uh, uh, what is the coefficient of uh, of uh, let's say x one k one x two k two let's say x m k in this and in the and in this term okay so uh notice that if i can show this 
guy, the I if I can show the coefficient of these guys, m plus one, choose k one, k two, up to k m, and the subject to like k one plus k two plus k m equals m plus one. Suppose I can show this. Suppose I can show the coefficient of this term is this guy, then we already prove right because because this is the this is the theorem definition that uh, the right hand the mot the right hand monomial expansion each term has this coefficient. So if I can just direct this from I can just directly see this expansion and uh, ask the coefficient of these terms and hopefully when I ask coefficient of these terms I can prove that uh, this will be n plus one k one k two up to k m. Okay. Uh, okay. So the idea is that uh, you see, if I choose, I, I ask k one right up to k n, then uh, this term will become what? Then uh, this term will be n choose k n my uh, k one minus one k two up to k n. Right? Correct. Because uh, k one, I need to shift k one right become k one minus one, and the second term uh, can be fixed right, but the uh, k two need to minus one. So k one k two minus one. Right, and uh, finally I get an uh, k1, kn minus 1. Okay, so the easy thing is that we just compute this. And if you see carefully, then you will see, well, when uh, n equals 2, you get the same as the non-monomial, uh, binomial expansion. Okay, so the trick is, uh, there's not, uh, no, uh, okay, so no trick. So k1 minus 1 factorial, k2 factorial, kn factorial. So the good thing is that uh, we already have we, we don't have any trick anymore. So so some so sometimes uh so the, the sometimes you do math. The good thing is that sometimes you you, you don't have trick. So the only thing you can do is that uh, uh just prove it and uh uh just work hard. <laughs> so you you now you uh it become n factorial divide k one factorial k two factorial up to k n factorial. So first turn you need to times k one right. So it's just times k one k two up to km, right? So this uh this guy is n plus one factorial. K1 factorial, k2 factorial, up to k factorial. Okay, so this is just n choose from k1 and k2 k. Okay, so uh yeah, this is the proof, right? So after I do this, I prove this is guy, this guy. Okay. So now uh people will ask, oh, but uh, there is a problem that uh is there is it is really that k1 plus k2 up to km is n plus one? The answer is yes, right? And the reason is that the uh, uh, reason is that if you see all of these terms, right? And the, since I already changed this guy to k1, so I shift k1 plus one to k1, right? So originally the sum of all the k becomes n, but now I shift k1 plus one to k1. So actually the new sum of from k1 to k m will be n plus one. Okay. So this guy subject to sum of ki i from uh, m one to m is m plus one. Okay, so uh, this is the proof for the monta uh, monomial uh, monomial expansion. Yeah, sorry uh, for the pronunciation. Okay, so uh, let's uh, prove for this video. Uh, one is binomial expansion, one is monomial expansion, and uh, we go back to high school and no calculus, no type expansion. Okay, I will see you guys in the uh, next video. Uh, hopefully, you guys uh, subscribe to my channel.